Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Barbie Marie and I'm so glad to have you join me today. We're going to be jumping into an abs and arms workout. So this workout requires no equipment. All you need is a mat, some space, and let's get started. So the way this workout is going to go, it's one of my favorite formulas for a workout because you don't even need a timer. Um, we're going to do a pyramid. So a pyramid is a set of exercises that kind of stack upon itself. So the first exercise that we're going to do, after we do the second one, we're going to go back down to that first one. Then we're going to add a third exercise, and then we're going to do the second one and the first one. And we're going to keep stacking it and repeating everything that we've done before it. So it's a lot of volume in a pretty short amount of time. Okay, so our first ab move is 10 pelvic tilts. So you're going to lie flat on your back. Okay, I like to put your hands on your hips or your lower belly, your lower abs, so you can really feel what's going on here, but it's a subtle movement. You're going to arch your back and then tuck your pelvis and contract your lower, your pelvic floor, your lower abs. So it's arch, contract, arch, contract. So you're creating that space in your lumbar region, in your lower back, and then smashing it. So like picturing you have something under your lower back you don't want any daylight to get to. Contract, lift, contract. This is also good for women who are prenatal, who are pregnant, or who are trying to get pregnant, or who are after you've already had the baby. This is a really good exercise to do to engage that pelvic floor, that really hard to get to, those deep inner pelvic core muscles. So we're only gonna do 10 here, but because I've been talking, let's just do two more together, arch. Contract. Okay, so that's our first exercise. Now we're going to flip over and we're going to do plank, opposite knee to hand tap. So you're going to be in a high plank, like so. Then we're going to drive the knee up and tap with the opposite hand. So that's one. Then we cross and tap. Three, five, seven. So trying to keep the hips square. Ten. 11. Nice and slow and controlled. 12, 13, 14. So you're trying not to rock through your hips too much. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good. Then we're going to go back to our pelvic tilt. So lying on your back, legs straight, hands on your hips, arch, contract, arch, and it helps to sync the breathing with the movement. So you inhale as you arch, exhale, contract. That's four. Inhale, five. One more. Ten. Good. Okay, so now we're going to go to our level three. And our level three exercise is twisties. So twisties, or Russian twists as some people call them, you're going to sit back in like a C-sit position. So ideally the full progression of this move, your feet are off the ground and we're twisting the width of your thighs. So you're not rotating and cranking your back side to side so harshly. It's really just mimicking that movement that your core does when you're sprinting. So it's a twi fast movement twisting from side to side the width of your legs. So we're doing 30 here. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 8, 29, 30, good. So to modify that one, obviously, you can keep your feet on the ground. Just stay leaning back so you're contracting those lower abdominal muscles. All right, now we're gonna go back to our 20. So our 20 is the opposite hand plank, knee tap, plank, opposite hand to knee tap. So we're up in a high plank, tap. If you can't get both the hand and the leg off the ground at the same time, just choose one or the other. Okay, so your modification would just be to tap your hand to your leg without bringing your foot off the ground. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12, nice and steady and controlled, 13, 
14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good. Back to the pelvic tilt. So you're going to flip over, lying on your back, hands on your hips, your lower abs, arch, contract for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So that's a hard one to kind of, it's really important to involve your mind-muscle connection. So you really want to think about the muscles that you're supposed to be engaging and really try to feel them engage as you contract. So that's a really good one to practice every single day. All right, now we're gonna go to our four level. This is four push-ups, crouch back. So I'm gonna start with them on my toes. If you need to modify, you're just gonna do them from your knees, keep your hips pushed forward so your back's in that nice straight line and our hips are, we're not coming from a tabletop position, okay? So we're coming from that modified plank position. We're gonna do push up, crouch back, okay? Push up, exhaling as you press away from the floor. Two more, push, crouch back, one more. Four, okay. Then we're going back to our three twisties. Two, three, Four, all the way to 30, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Hudson's ready to play. Aren't you? You bit your ball. Okay, now we're going to do plank. Opposite knee taps for 20. Let's see if I can do this with Hudsy. Okay. <laughs> One, two. You can also make it harder by going for that foot. Four, five, six, seven. Try to keep the hips square to the ground. Try not to rock. Nice and slow and controlled. 20. Good. Now we're going to lie on our backs. Pelvic tilt. Legs long. Belly flat. Arch and tuck. Two for 10. Three. Four. Five. Six. Two more. 10. Good. Okay. Next, we're going to do our five plank hip tucks. So this isn't a low plank. And then we're going to lift the knees off the ground. This can also be done from a modified position. So if you need to keep the knees on the ground, that's okay. But we're going to arch the back and tuck. Arch the back and tuck. So this is exactly what we're doing in our pelvic tilts in the first move, in our 10 set, three, but we're just gonna do five here. Four, arch, and tuck. So it's that full range of motion, picturing your pelvis tilting back and then tilting forward. Engaging the back and then engaging those forward lower abdominal muscles is what we're going for there. Okay, so that's our five, so we go back to our four. Push up, crouch back. Push up, crouch it back. So you're staying on your toes, ideally. That's two, we got two more. Three. And four. Now we're gonna go to our 30, our twisties. So back in the C-sit position, or your heels can stay on the ground, up to you. Going for 30, 
22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. All right, then we're going back to the 20. Plank, opposite hand to opposite knee taps, or you can make it a little bit harder. Go further, going towards the foot. One, again, trying to keep the hips square. Seven, as steady as possible. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. You know what the 10 is, the pelvic tilts. So lying on your back, we've got plenty of rounds to get this engagement happening. Arch, one, two. And this could take a lot of time, especially if you're a woman and you've had a C-section or you've recently given birth. It can take time, it can take months or even years to get that feeling back. But like I said, if you're a new mother or trying to get pregnant or you are pregnant, this is a wonderful exercise to do to create that connection, that neuro connection with your mind and the muscles. So when you're ready to deliver or when you're ready to get those muscles back and active again after you've delivered, the faster that will happen because you've already got those connections happening. And that is definitely more than 10. Okay, now we're on, oh, I lost it. We're on to our six, which is plank up downs. So we're gonna start from a high plank and then we're gonna to go down to our elbows. So one, two, again, trying to keep the hips square and trying not to rock through the hips too much. Four, five, one more, nice and strong. If you need to modify at any point, you can always come down to the knees, just keep the hips forward, okay? Then we're gonna do five, low plank, Oh, sorry, I thought I was just getting something out of your ear. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hip tucks, arch and tuck, arch and tuck. Good, three, four, one more, five, and arch. Beautiful. Our four is our push-ups. So, I'm gonna try to do it on my toes again. Go for the modified if you need to. Push, crouch back. Push, crouch back. Push, crouch back. One more, nice and strong. Beautiful. Twisties are 30. Hang it in there. Woo! Now I'm starting to sweat. Heels up, one. challenge. One, squaring off the hips, nice and slow and controlled, making sure the hands are coming back to right under the shoulders so they're not too far out or too far in. Twelve, fifteen, 20, good, pelvic tilt, 10 pelvic tilts, nice and strong, arch, contract,
nine, ten. Awesome, we're on our seven. Our seven is a pike push-up. So this is a specific shoulder push-up. Hudson, you can't play with that right now. No, no, no. No, you can't play with that right now. Mommy's recording. Mommy's recording. Nope. Hudsy. You can't play with this right now. You gotta play with something else. Play with something else. Get it. Okay, so our seven is a shoulder push up. So we're going to hinge our hips up toward the ceiling, legs as straight as possible, fingers facing each other and elbows are gonna splay out wide. So we're really targeting the shoulders here. We're gonna press and extend. So we're bending at the elbows, head goes right towards the center of our fingers, and press away. This is four, three more, three, two, and one. If that's too hard, you can definitely do this from the kneeling position. Just taking some of that weight off, some of that resistance off. But again, important for your hands to be facing each other, leaving a little space in between, and then your elbows are pressing out wide with your head pointing directly towards the center of your fingertips. Okay, circle those wrists out, because now we're going to do the plank up down. This is our six level. Down, down, up, up. Two, this can also be modified from the kneeling position, if that feels better for you. Five, one more, six, awesome. Shake those wrists out. Now we're gonna go to our plank hip tucks. This was from the low plank position, making sure the elbows are right under the shoulders. Arch, contract, arch, contract, three, Inhale, arch, exhale, contract. One more. Beautiful. All right, next, shake out the shoulders, shake out those wrists. Four, push up, crouch back, okay? Nice and strong, you got this. It's only four, you can do it. <laughs> push, crouch back. Two. Three. Four, crouch back. All right, 30s. You know what the 30s are. That's our twisties. All right, we're rounding it out. Almost in the home stretch. Fifteen. Twenty-five. 27. Woo! 30. Okay. Plank. Opposite knee to opposite leg. Tap. That's our 20. Next time we level up, we're going to be on eight. Almost there, guys. Two.
Okay, our 10 is our pelvic tilts. Arch, contract. Arch, contract. Five, exhaling as you contract. Beautiful. All right, now we're going to our eight level. That is eight bicycles, eight on each leg. So we're lying back. We're going to bring one knee in, one leg straight. One, one, two, two. Cross opposite elbow to opposite knee. Four, four, five, five, six, seven, eight. Beautiful. Seven is the pike push ups. So hinging at the hips, stick the booty high, fingers face each other. Seven. All right, now we're going down to our plank up down. Six, six total. Starting from a high plank, going to a low plank. Down, down, up. Two more, five, one more, six. Beautiful. Now we're gonna come down to our elbows. Five, plank, hip, tucks. Arch, contract. Two. Five. Beautiful. Shake those wrists out, shake the shoulders out. Now we're gonna do our push-ups. Four push-ups, crouch back. Nice and strong. Woo! One more. Beautiful. 30. Twisties. Beautiful. Pelvic tilts. Lying on our back. Ten. Nice and slow and controlled. Squeeze. One more. So you all really want to focus on your breath. The breath is synced with the movement. So as you're inhaling, you're feeling your belly expand. As you're exhaling, you're pushing all the air out. So you're feeling that lower core, the abdominal muscles contract. Okay, two more sets, guys. We're almost done. We're on level nine, and that is a knee to elbow crunch. So we're gonna lay all the way back, hands behind your head, supporting your neck, but not pulling, okay? So keep the fingers light. Elbows wide, and then we're going to crunch the knees in and the elbows towards the knees. That's one. So you're trying to make contact. If you can't, that's okay. You're just reaching in that general direction. So our goal is to get the shoulders off the ground. Four, five, and rolling that pelvis up, the hips up. 
to meet the elbows. Seven, eight, and nine. Beautiful. Remember what's next? Eight bicycles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Awesome. Seven pegged push ups. So hips up to the ceiling, fingers facing each other, elbows wide. Seven. Exhaling as you press away from the floor. Three, two, and one. Woo! From one shoulder move to another, we've got our plank up downs, high plank to low plank. Steady as possible. Steady as she goes. <laughs> One more. Then we're going to do our five plank hip tucks from a low plank. Arch, contract. Inhale, exhale. Same motion we do in our ten hip tucks. Four. One more. Five, beautiful. Shake those wrists out, shake those shoulders out. Woo! Our round four is our push-ups. Push-ups nice and strong and we crouch back. Push, press away from the floor. Nice, long, straight back. Two. Beautiful. 30 twisties, and then we've got one more full round after this that finishes out our pyramid. So once we get to 10, we shoot all the way back down, and then we're done. 30 twisties. Make sure you're breathing. Opposite knee to opposite foot or opposite thigh taps. Nice and slow and controlled. One more on each side. Beautiful. So trying to square those hips to the ground the whole time, not rocking. So you're really creating that stability through the core. Pelvic tilts, really sink the breath with the movement. Inhale as you arch your lower back. Exhale, contract the abdominal muscles. Inhale, big belly breath.
Hands behind the head, elbows wide. Knees are bent. Crunch everything in. Shoulders come off the ground to meet the knees. Two. We've got nine. Three. Eight. One more. Nine. Good. Our eight is bicycles. So eight bicycles on each side. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, woo, seven, pike ups, shoulder push ups, hips up, legs straight, as straight as possible, fingertips facing each other, seven, engagement of the lower core. I've got two more. Ten! Fantastic job, guys. Thank you so much for following along with me. I'm sweating. There's no reason you can't get a good workout in your house with no equipment. That was a solid shoulder, arm, and ab workout. So I really hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. 
Thank you so much for sticking with me, and if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Comment below if you like more exercises like this, more workouts with me um, where you follow along and maybe you don't have any equipment. Let me know in the comments so I can make future workout videos for you. All right, again, I appreciate you. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.